Hi there and welcome to a new video by Yes and Explore. In this video, we'll show you how we got to Boracay from Manila by using many modes of transportation in one day. Our adventure starts at the Domestic Departures Terminal 3 of Manila's Ninoy Aquino Airport. Following the advice of our wonderful old and new Filipino friends, we got to the airport many hours in advance. Since we have the lounge access pass, we figured we would chill out in the lounge. But to our disappointment, it was no longer operational. Despite having to wait in the hot terminal building for a few hours before our flight was ready to board, it turned out we were actually lucky. The flight that was scheduled before us was cancelled at the very last minute. And for a bit we were worried our flight was going to be cancelled as well, but luckily this didn't happen and after some wait we were asked to board the bus that would take us to the airplane. And yes, the observant viewer will notice that we are flying with Cebu Pacific again, because well, as it turns out, they're the ones who fly pretty much everywhere in the Philippines, and our last experience with them was quite good. Also, now that we have you here, why not board our Yes and Explore journey and subscribe to our channel? Also, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to click on the like button or leave us a comment, question, or one of those weird spam messages. As you can't fly to Boracay Island directly, we flew to Katiklan Airport, which is the airport that's closest to Boracay Island. For this flight, we paid about 55 euros per person, which is around 3200 Philippine pesos, and that includes 20 kilo of check-in luggage and a seat in row 2. As the flight only takes an hour from Manila, we could quickly spot Boracay Island from our window. We got off the plane really quickly and were greeted by the lovely sun and were directed to walk to the terminal building. As you can see, when arriving at Katiklan Airport, um, there is only a very small arrival building, um, as the departures building is actually a few kilometers away near the center of the Katiklan town. And, and we think it must be the tiniest arrival building we have ever seen at an airport. And the baggage claim area is just a counter where they put your suitcases on. Um, it makes for a little chaotic and busy arrival and you can tell that the building was not made to handle this many passengers at once. As soon as we got our bags, we headed to the arrival hall. We hadn't figured out a way to get to Boracay Island yet, but there are many transfer options available that allow for you to decide in a moment. You can either take a van or tricycle to the jetty port and from there on take a boat to Boracay Island or purchase a transfer that takes you from the airport to your hotel as one package deal. We were immediately drawn to the sign that said van transfer 100 pesos, but it turned out the company that it was for, uh, which is Southwest Tours, also offers package deals that includes all the fees you need to pay for being able to get on the ferry. We weren't feeling up to DIYing the whole trip, so we opted for the tour which cost 1050 pesos if you're a foreign traveler and 850 pesos for local travelers. 
After we paid, we received a ticket that we needed to give to the van driver and together with a few other people, we were brought to the Cadiclan Jetty port. The drive took about 10 minutes and the port was very busy. Due to over-tourism, Boracay was closed for six months in 2018. And after reopening, only a maximum amount of people are permitted onto the island and only if you've booked an accredited accommodation. This is why you need to do some paperwork upon boarding, pay the environmental fee and show your hotel confirmation, as day visitors are not allowed. Because we booked an all-in-one tour at the airport, we only had to go over to one window to fill out our hotel details and we were then led into a separate room where we had to wait before we were called to get on the boat. And there goes our luggage. The boat ride took about 15 minutes and on the way to the island we were treated to some gorgeous views and we noticed that the water is very clear and very beautiful. Once we got off the boat, we had to wait to collect the luggage ourselves and make it to the van station. Which is just at the end of the long walkway. If you haven't done a pre-booking or didn't choose the all-in-one package like we did at the Cataclan Airport, you'll have the option here to take either a van to your hotel or a tricycle. And depending on the location of your hotel, this should cost you anywhere between 50 to 100 pesos per person. All we had to do now is locate the van that was going to bring us to the hotel and once we did, we got in the van once more for the final leg of our journey. In about 20 minutes, we made it there. If you want to watch the review of the hotel that we stayed at in Boracay and more, don't forget to subscribe to us at Yes and Explore. Thank you so much for watching. 
Bye.